Welcome back to the News Hub here at WHJ Live. I'm Simon Constable. What are the colors of alien planets outside our solar system? Wall Street Journal science columnist Lee Hodes joins us now with news that scientists have made a new discovery about just that, and they have also discovered glass rain, which all sounds fantastic. Thanks for being there, Lee. Oh, it's always a pleasure to talk about the uh, great tourist attractions in the universe that we have. So you can't see the colors of the planets w with either the naked eye or even a telescope. So what have scientists done to try and try and triangulate on this? Well, you're entirely right, Simon. These are uh, star systems that are, this one in particular is 63 light years away. And the planet that circles it is much too small, much too faint to be resolved uh, directly by the kinds of telescopes that we have today, even those ones in orbit. But what these scientists at the University of Oxford and the University of Exeter in the United Kingdom were able to do, they use um, an imaging spectrograph aboard the Hubble Space Telescope to track and analyze the wavelengths of light coming from this system. First, they measured the combined light from the star and the planet. And then as the planet went around behind the sun, that sun, and was hidden from view from Earth, they uh, measured that light again and then you know, subtracted out the difference, an infinitesimal amount of light, but they were able to uh, examine the spectrum of what they had collected and they identified the missing wavelength, the wavelength that belonged to the planet. And that wavelength corresponds to a really deep and lovely shade of blue. Uh, not unlike, actually, the shade of blue of our own planet as seen from deep space. So, uh, you know, one, one, of the, one of the things that I thought maybe incorrectly was that uh, the, the Earth was, one, was very unusual because we were a blue planet. And if you look in our solar system, there are many other colors of planets, red for Mars and things like that. But it, it, is this like a, a sister planet to us? Not in the slightest. In fact, you could be hard pressed to find a place more unlike Earth. And it's true, we share a color, but this planet, which has the uh, ungainly name of HD 189733B, I mean, it's a stellar zip code, really, is a place where the average daily winds top 4,000 miles an hour. The noonday temperature is something like 1,000 degrees Celsius. Uh, and the air, or the atmosphere rather, not fair to call it air, is laced with fine grains of silicate like beach sand. And because the temperature is so high, these clouds of sand rain molten drops of glass. I mean, wow. As you can imagine, a more hellish environment. Well, I was yet, I was, it the, sounds the even color. worse than the subway here in New York City in the summer. <laughs> that sounds, I mean, it's almost as hot as that, but there's no raining sand. Uh, well, in the molten glass actually is responsible for the blue color because it uh, absorbs uh, red and green wavelengths and reflects uh, the blue wavelengths. And that's what uh, we would be able to see if we were in the vicinity of this planet. It's the same way that the uh, oceans on Earth absorb certain wavelengths and scatter back the blue or the uh, iron oxide in the uh, surface of Mars. Uh, scatters back uh, the red wavelengths. And that's why we see these planets in the hues that we do. But this is the first time that astronomers have been able to identify the true color of one of these alien worlds. Great stuff. We've got to leave it there. Thank you very much. Lee Holtz, science columnist here at the Wall Street Journal. We appreciate your time, sir.